Today, we're gonna check in with our bodies. And this is such a super simple, short way to make sure that you're taking a minute to be aware of how you're feeling, what's going on with your body, your emotions, so that for the rest of the day, you can avoid all kinds of cascading effects around snacking, around how you handle stress, and, uh, and or process your emotions. So let's get started. Hey, I'm Danny, and I create this content to share bite-sized life tips that I've learned and implemented as a result of prior trauma that can help you to be the very best version of yourself that you can be one step at a time. So the simple way that you can remember this exercise to take it on and get it into your muscle memory is by calling it RAIN, R-A-I-N. The first letter is R. So I just want you to take a minute to recognize what's coming up for you right now in this moment. What thoughts are you having? What feelings are you having? How does your body feel? For example, are you happy and are you feeling light? Are you feeling constricted, nervous, or maybe even heavy? Take inventory and recognize that for a minute. The next letter is A. A is to allow the experience to be there just as it is. So whether it's happiness, anxiety, nervousness, depression, let it be there. Just give yourself a little pat on the shoulder and say, it's okay, whatever it is, and let it to be there. You're gonna train your body to not suppress what it is that you've just realized you're feeling, but rather let it to move through you as it is. The next letter in RAIN is I. Let's investigate and get curious about, very kindly, why these feelings are coming up. Why am I experiencing this in my body? What's going on in my brain? What needs my attention? What can I do to help myself? Again, be so kind to yourself. Be curious. All of our emotions and responses come from a place for a reason. Sometimes they're automatically ingrained and we need to learn to give ourselves just a few seconds to take inventory, check in with ourselves, and help ourselves to interrupt maybe something that's not productive. For example, a critical voice in your head is going to do nothing if you're already stressed about trying to get out the door, for example, or you have a big presentation. Check in, be kind, be curious, let your body move through that response so that you can come back to a more neutral state. The last letter in RAIN is N, and this stands for nurture. Again, naturally start to give yourself compassion when you acknowledge and get curious about the way that you're feeling, this will happen pretty naturally. If you're frightened, if you're stressed, or if you're hurting, now you can begin to give yourself what your body needs to tend to it. Perhaps a message of reinsurance or forgiveness. It is so easy for us to get caught up in the day-to-day -day grind of things. By checking in with yourself briefly, you're gonna get better and quicker every day and learn really quickly how to do this. Maybe in the future, all you need is to step outside and orient a little bit. But this will give you a sense of your true feelings and your true physical and emotional needs so that you don't make decisions out of an automatic response, maybe to reach for the bad food, for example, or send back a response to an email you maybe wouldn't have done if you had taken a second to breathe. All of these things can cascade and ripple out to amazing health benefits emotionally, psychologically, physically. And follow me for more. I can't wait to share. Leave me a comment below so I know what you're interested in. Ciao!